guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, how did you navigate that, I guess, when each time, you know, you departed from something and you moved on to something else? Oh. He will tell it. He'll he'll oh. tell the story. <laughs> tell us, tell us. You tell us the How was Mama's story? <laughs> I think I've always worked with worked with with myself with that. You, you know what I mean? Like uh I've I've done so many different things in my life and I just at the moment if someone goes to shit, <laughs> Gigi, No, please, please. Oh. <laughs> I also Ooh. don't associate myself with people, I think, that are going to be judgmental mm. based on, you know, what, what you do. Mm. Like I've come from Asia where people are super spiritual and don't have any jobs and don't believe in money. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they don't believe in this whole anything. So it's like such a out of this world society that I've experienced mm. so I, I'm so I'm like more beyond I wouldn't say beyond that but I just I just it doesn't cross my mind or I don't care about it anymore you know what I mean mm. I don't I don't even want to think about how I would go about it because I'm just don't care about it do, do you know what I mean yeah. about that? no I love that but yeah. what about for people that that struggle with that and didn't don't have that experience that you've had yeah. What do you think? It's it's hard to say because I think, to get there. I think in life, like, you really have to experience, yeah, certain things. Uh, like, if I would say go out and travel. I would say to anybody, mm. I would say to anybody, go travel by yourself mm. and, and try not to worry about the money aspect <laughs> or, or have, you know, have some sort of savings or something to go and, and go and do that. But it's almost like I had to go and travel and be super broke to learn the things that I learned in terms of that mm. you know what I mean mm. like just really humbled you it humbled me yeah. it really did it, it, it wild, wildly humbled me <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's more of a story there no what about you like yeah. how, how are you feeling about that at the moment like because you it, it seems like when you still encounter people and then you have to tell them what you do like mm. you feel like there's some sort of value there or? yeah um like I, I feel like I'm in the middle um yeah. I wouldn't say I don't have any ties to what I do for work or in general to my identity. I think especially right now I'm working in sustainability. I feel like it's a really big part of me because it's a big passion of mine. Yeah. So maybe that's why it also feels a bit different as opposed to, I don't know, whatever role I was doing previously, I didn't connect to as much in terms of the meaning to me, the purpose, um, what it meant to me. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like I'm in the middle, but I'm more appreciative when people talk about, if they happen to talk about what they do for work. I try really. I mean, we all make judgments on people, right? Judgments yeah. keep us safe, but yeah, I, I I allow that judgment to come up. I observe and it's like, okay, that's interesting. I've made this judgment about this person because they told me, I don't know, they work at a, spe a specific place or in a specific field. Um, I acknowledge that, but then it's just like, okay, now I can be curious about it, like, you know, tell me more about what you're doing or what you do outside of work. I try to avoid that work question now. I think, yeah, and just more like, what do you do in general? Yeah, yeah. what do, what do you what do you, what is your passion? Yeah. Right, because yeah. most of the time, well, not most of the time, but a lot of the time, people that what they're doing for work isn't really what yeah. they want to be doing. Yeah. You yeah. know, not everyone. That, you're has that so luxury. aware though. Like that's oh, like, I've, I've said this before with things you say. <laughs> just like for you to be able to understand. And just be aware that you are judging. Yeah. Like I do that as well. Mm. I, I can be judgmental. Mm. And I realize like when someone says something or does something or I see someone and I'm like, ah, oh, and yeah. I'm like, oh, that, that was judgmental. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Um, but that, like I say with anything, the first step is to be aware mm. of ourselves and mm. then we will figure it out from there, mm. you know? Mm. that's Yeah. I think I went through a phase of being really judgmental of my own judgment of people and yeah. like being hard on myself. But now yeah. I'm like gone not full circle but 180 I always get confused with that that um analogy but yeah now I've acknowledged it's like it's okay that I've had that judgment like up until now you know maybe I've inherited that belief from different people from parents or you know people that I respect or it's kept me safe in certain situations and um now it might not be serving me and it's it's mm. okay that that's come up but you know, we can dig a bit deeper, try to understand this person a bit more or where this judgment's come from. Yeah. So, where do you think your judgments come from? Uh, definitely 
yeah my upbringing I think okay yeah. tell yeah. us a little bit more about oh that, we're Jess. getting into that wow <laughs> straight into it I love it juicy 